What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jay Ross down in the basement. Ten making strong. Y'all hanging out with my boy Rick Lyric. Putting it down on base, y'all. It's all good though in the hood. Hold on, Rick. Hold on, Rick. What's up, boy? What's up? Hi, I'm Rick Lear, and I love J. Ross. That's right, that's right, that's right, man. Hey, Rick, come up, hang out with me, y'all, on a Friday, man. We ain't doing nothing. Working on my thing song for the new website, jrosstv.com, that's going to be blasting. But Rick got a bunch of junk coming out, too, man. Talk about that thing, boy. Um, well, I just did release a new single on iTunes and Rhapsody that's available for download now. The single is called, um, um, uh, I tried... You even got the name of your own record, man. I have so many songs. Oh, my song is called Teaching Ain't What It Used To Be. Or Don't Nobody Love Me But My Mama <laughs> and She Can Be Lying To. Now, what, what that song about, dog? Teaching Ain't What It Used To Be is taken from a custodian's perspective as opposed to uh, a teacher itself. This custodian's been in the game 30 years and has seen the decline of teaching. It's like we went from bananas to banana clips. Uh, when did we need metal detectives? Uh, how come, didn't we used to take care of the buildings and the kids talk back any old kind of way? But the song does end optimistically by saying we can turn teaching around and make it everything it used to be. Well, let me ask you this. Now, you you, uh, uh, you got a couple of lines you can say from the song that people can relate to? Yeah. Um, I'll put you on the spot there. Though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The, well, the chorus goes, um, let's make teaching just what it used to be to give it the power and the quality that makes every young mind complete. And really, that's the core of the song. And we somehow we've gotten away from that. We need to... Uh, we get back to putting what these kids need in their heads and in their hearts. And when they have the self-respect to love themselves, they'll have enough power to love everybody else. So now what else uh, uh, you know you see or do or, or contemplate that influence your songwriting abilities? The, my uh, perspective to songwriting is this. There's a song in everything. In fact, there's an album in everything. And since I'm a heavy believer in God, a Christian, I, I ask God to show me things. And I, the things that everybody else would walk by, I see songs in here. He lets me hear things. I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning with not just a verse, but an entire song sometimes. Yeah. But wait a minute. So, all right, God give you the song. Right. Now, do he give it to you whole, or do you have to add your own little thing to it? All, he's, all he'll tell me is just start playing. I'll give you the rest. Yeah. Oh, my motto is this. Uh, he thinks them up, I write them down. Yeah, but all right, now, so you got, how many CDs you got going on? I have a complete CD that's actually on iTunes, Rhapsody, and other download services um, called um, You Burn Me Like a Blank CD. <laughs> <laughs> and that's under the name of King, King Positive featuring Rick Lear. It's one of my side projects. No, wait a minute. You burn me like a blank CD. Burn me like a blank CD. I, I don't see it. What's, what's, give, give it to me straight. What is but it? The song is simply this. Well, I call the project King Positive because it's sort of negative in the music. And that particular song is probably the most negative song on the project. It's just saying, look, girl, we was going out. Everything was going great. I thought you was the one. And you left me for somebody else. You burn me like a blank CD. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, boy, it take all kind of geniuses in the world to come up with this kind of stuff. So, like, now, like, for that particular song there, what, how's the chord structure? How, how does it go? Can you oh. give us a little rendition? Oh, oh well, you don't have to play it. You don't have to get, oh. yeah, you got it copywritten, right? Yeah. Oh, my gosh, it's been, it's been a couple years since I've done it. It's been on iTunes for a little bit, but it's, uh, it's probably one of my strongest singles so far. What genre would you classify that as? Uh, pop rock. Pop rock. If you like Lenny Kravitz or Maroon Five, then you're uh, like me. So how do you? Uh, how does your Christianity uh, fall in line with your songwriting and, and and what you're trying to convey to the public? Um, basically, because there's so much trash in the music today, I don't think God has a problem with you talking about uh, a cool car or or love or anything else as long as you don't cross the line with Him and you give Him the glory for all that you've been given. The Bible does say that all things God has created all things. Right now, just because something is in the world doesn't make it worldly, and um, it, everything you know. There's so many stereotypes about. Oh, you know, you can't sing secular music. If that's the problem, aren't our job secular? Should we be working them? Aren't our clothes secular? Should we work be wearing those? You know, it's like just ask God what's right for you, and and uh, He'll show you. In my case, I'm taking the path that He's shown me. And you're going to get criticized no matter what you do anyway. So yeah. do what God has called you to do and uh, get out there because you don't have time to uh, to in, to uh, let other people interfere with your destiny. Yeah, but you know, in, in saying that, 
and I, I, it just hit me when you said about uh, working in a, a, a secular community, and I guess that's the B. But I think I think the problem come in at the point where like if you work for I'm gonna say AT and T. You know, don't nobody get mad at AT and T. Just using it. You go to work every day. Your supervisor could be an atheist, a Buddhist, or whatever. You know, but it's not like you singing atheist, atheist or Buddhist songs saying that Jesus Christ is not Jesus Christ. So if you're a Christian and you playing with artists or you coming up with songs that say God is not God, Jesus is not His Son. I think that's a different thing, especially if you plan it every night in concert. Yeah, well, I, I would be very selective about who I work with and what I do you, to a degree. I mean, you have to work with a lot of different people who believe in a lot of different things. You just can't have to make sure to not to compromise yourself. And there's a way to do that. And if it means losing money to do so, then I'm willing to do that. Um, I just don't. Um, there's an old expression that says, dance with the one that brought you. And God brought me and I ain't leaving here without him. I feel that. Hey, well, we're going to roll up out of here, y'all. He got the bounce, man. He got a whole bunch of stuff going on. So hey, hit a little something take us on out of here. J. Ross TV in the house, 10 million strong. JRossTV.com. Be online in January. It's going to be on, y'all. Be sure to check us out. We out of here, 10 million strong. Peace.